Hey guys, it's the Shroud 14 here, and it is time once again for another episode of the In Honor of Ooh. Ooh. Aww. The In Honor of Galley series, which is a series that I do where the videos are very. Look at me. Very, very spaced apart. Like. Like, I'm talking months and months and months, man. But over time, over 10,000 years, piece by piece, we rebuild the documentation lost in Game of Bombs, one step at a time. You know, like the, the thousand miles, like we're, we're going to go a thousand miles. It just one step at a time. Okay, so. We're doing episode two of Honor and Galley. The first episode was how to fix the um, keyboard delay. This episode is a bit more work. We're going to be tackling every perk. Well, almost every perk. Almost every single perk. Now I'm going to explain the rules and everything and what Galley did before and what I'm going to be doing this time. So originally, Galley had basically recorded his um, perk screen. He recorded like his inventory, and he put a frame over each individual perk, and that linked to an unlisted video of the perk. I'm going to be doing. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, Pikachu. <laughs> Surprise Pikachu face. My heart. <laughs> no, Mashi, why? Uh, yes, sir, right. Um, so, I'm going to explain documentation and then we'll cut to each perk and stuff. So basically this time, so originally Galley did the unlisted videos for each one. I'm going to be putting everything into one video and in the description there are going to be timestamps. Uh, cause of, okay, mortal technique, nice. All right, so it looks like I'm going to be doing, um, man, that, that threw my train of thought off. So, uh, I'm going to be doing uh, all of the video, all of the perks into one video and then have timestamps in the description. So right now you can skip this completely. You can look at, if you're looking for a specific perk right now, you can go into the description and you'll find timestamps for each perk. So, thanks for watching, and you'll see every perk, every demonstration of every perk soon. It might even be in alphabetical order. We shall see how I do this. But, go! What are you doing? What are, why are you still... Oh my god! Cerdo! Cerdo! God! No! Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. But go in the description. But why are you still watching this? Go in the description and click the perk you want. Oh my god. Alright, so the per the first perk we're going to be looking at... By the way, there I would like to break this down into three types of perks. We're going to be doing this in alphabetical order, I think. So, it's not going to be based on the type. So there are time perks, which have like a time on them. So like shield generator, jetpack generator. You know. Then there are active perks which are perks you need to use like jetpack well not really a generator but like mind bomb pumpkin bombs the shots the shots and things like that and there are also passive perks things you don't have to use but will be used up no matter what as long as you spawn so like but only use one one per round like leaden pants or pacifism so those are the three different types of perks we have and this is a passive perk it's used automatically when you start the round now what amplified explosion does is it doesn't do anything right away it's a perk that you use and it helps you later in the game well not too much later but it just helps you later in the game it adds two flame to your overall capacity so originally you only have eight bombs six flame four speed and four bat but if you use amplified explosion you now have Eight bombs, eight flame, four speed, and four bat. It's a pretty simple perk, but it's a very powerful one. 
Oh, a plutonium chest. You know what? Right now is actually a good time to show the diamond mimic perk. Well, we have a bigger backpack too. Plus four bombs the thing. No, it can't be. I can't change my perks. No, no, you can't do this to me, game. No, no, the perfect opportunity. It couldn't. Uh, no, I thought this wasn't a thing anymore. No. My diamond mimic and bigger backpack opportunity. The next perk we're going to be testing is one of my favorites, Boost, or I call, or I like to call, Super Hash. The perk temporarily adds extra bombs and speed, then removes more than was added. It's not an infinite perk, we're on the dev server right now. So Boost. Now as you can see, if you look to the left, right now we have 8 bombs, 6 flame, 4 speed, and 4 bat. We use boost. I believe it should add four bombs, one flame, two speed, and shouldn't affect bat, I don't think. You killed yourself, bot 10. That was all you're doing. So, the, 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 these perks will be in semi alphabetical order, not really alphabetical order, but you, you'll, you see what I mean, right? So, in a few seconds, we'll be able to use it. We'll just let bot 10 kill himself once more. Bot 17? I don't think I've ever seen a bot 17 in my life. Hmm. Alright guys, so what you're seeing now, as you look at me, it's pretty alright, right? I've got the wings, the shield, regular ash. But do you know what happens when you go even further beyond? So, as you can see, we gained four more bombs, two more two more flame, one more speed. Yeah, only one more speed. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no! So our we sh I guess we sh could have gained more speed, but we gained one more speed. But our capacity for speed went up by two, to, so it went from four to six. And we gained we didn't gain any more bats, so about right there. And if you had full capacity, you would it would be quite insane, you would get like 6 speed and it would, it would be very very nice. And when it ends in one second, we went down to one bomb, two flame, I think it just removes a bomb or two, and I think it removes a flame. So I think that's normally the price you pay, but it's a price worth paying. And you can look back at the video and see exactly if you want to know, like the exact amount for sure. But it can depend I guess, depending on how many you have in the first place. Like I don't think it will leave you with zero bombs if you use it. So it probably won't take a bomb then if you only have one. That would be pretty funny, right? Moving on to the next perk. Beryllium Helmet. Now that's one we can test right now, actually. Let us go. It's time to suicide. Also, I'm curious how what happens when that gets damaged. Ah, so no, nothing happens to the portals when it gets damaged. But that is an explosion from just pure Beryllium Helmet. Now, if you want an even bigger explosion, I recommend combining it with Nyan Shot, or just being a Nyan when you do it, because that's how you get the truly. Alright, so the next perk we're going to be reviewing and going over is the Nyan Shot. Nya nya nya, can, can't control bomb placing, can fly, can infect other players. Now, I should let you know that if you combine this with the immunity, you won't have to deal with the negative consequences of the perks. Invisibility was tweaked though, so you're able to see even if you don't use it, but you used to not be able to, I think at least. So let's get right into the nine shot. Also, I should let you know that these this is fast explosions, bomb bomb's detonator is two times faster, can affect other players, so two times faster. Lilliput shot, bomb radius is set to one, you can squeeze through turnstiles and can affect other players. And we have the invisibility shot. So nine shot, you know the watashita ke, watashita ke, watashita ke, no nya, I'm, I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. All right, let's go. Now you may be thinking, okay, I'm just an ordinary hash brown. What possible benefit could be had from becoming a nyan? Well, my friend, you see, if you become a nyan, you can fly, and I'm not talking about some fake type of no you don't you dare see look at that if i had turned left there before becoming a nyan there would have been no way for me to pull off such a feat but because i'm a nyan i can fly and because i can fly i'm invincible it's not like 
nothing could possibly, just kidding. All right, we survived. So the next perk we're gonna be checking out is the fast explosions perk. Now look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Five, right? Now look at this. Cough, cough, all right. One, two, three, Ooh. Ooh. Now the thing is, oh my god, what what have you done, Bot 15? Oh no, he's still he's all good, he still has the jacket. Goes through whoa. He goes through so many different phases, I swear. So many different phases. So many phases. Has his rank changed? I don't know. Alright. So the next one we're gonna be checking out is the leaf Let's see if there's actually any yeah, there actually is. Alright, so we can actually test this out on one of the things it was intended to be tested out on, or used on. So, one of the benefits of this perk is that it allows you to, not only does it make your bomb smaller so you can do like a one bomb chain, maybe I'll link a video to Puny's one bomb chain, because I'm not going to try doing that right now, maybe I should, but you can fit through these, you normally wouldn't, and I'll give a demonstration in a second for when this wears off. So as you can see, I can clearly just walk right through because I'm just that small. But if I'm not, don't have that perk, nope, can't do it. So it's quite useful. Now you may you may be wondering, okay, well what about the invisibility shot? Well it's completely, utterly useless unless you're playing against players, but against bots, they just see right through it, which is something that should be changed, right? But it makes you invisible. And also I would like to, when these first came out, I would like to let you know that they did not have the cooldowns. I went a whole round one time, almost entirely invisible, and it was glorious. And oh my god, it was glorious. You could, but you see that cooldown? They should remove that cooldown. Come on, it was so fun, and that would encourage people to buy perks. It's not like it matters too much now, but that that was fun. That was really fun. It's very. It uses perks up like no other thing, but it was so fun, man. So, moving on to the next set of perks. So the first perk, it's also so great that you can do this in chunks of four, so nice. Forester, the perk allows a player to plant bushes. You're walking the fields, da, da. there's no one around you and your shield is dead. Da, da. Out of the corner of your map, you spot him. Sakamaruf. He's following you about 20 times back. You get down on an angle, six speed ends, he's gaining on you. You're looking for your skates, but your luck is down. He's almost upon you now, and you can see, you can see that there's a, there's a grin on his face. My God, there are grins everywhere. Running for your life from soccer bar off. He's polishing a bomb. It's so Cal stop. All right, so Forrester is pretty self-explanatory. Now it's very, oh, that is fast. It's very interesting, a very interesting perk because you can place down tiles, right? There should be more perks like this. There could be more perks like this that allow you to influence the map because you can do some interesting things, right? Like a bridge builder perk. Or there could be some cool, some very cool things. Or maybe a perk that lets you spawn in plutonium, right? But it costs three plutonium to buy the perk in the first place. So three plutonium leave the game, one plutonium enters the game. So you lose two plutonium every time you use it, but you can transfer plutonium in a weird way to players that way and liven up the round. There could be interesting things like that, right? Um, But there aren't. But there could be, and this proves it. This one little bush. So that is the Forester. The next are Trick or Treat Bombs. Now these are a very, very nice perk to use. Let's actually find a good spot for it. I guess we'll just put it, we'll put it here. But at the start of the round, I really recommend, if you have a whole bunch of Poker Bombs, just to only use one every round at the start, because you normally get like, like, like 25, like one out of four times, you're gonna get some good stuff usually. So that is the pumpkin, no trick or treat bomb, trick or treat bombs. I just we just I just call them pumpkin bombs, honestly. And the next is pacifism. Now, they've nerfed this, I think, because if you look to the left, you see how I only have four max bombs. That seems not right to me. I'm I'm quite an advocate of the pacifist, or like the the powers of the pacifism. I've I've done my fair share of slaughter using this perk and I don't know if there's always been a restriction. So I think this perk's been nerfed, I don't know. Maybe I was just so good and I was able to kill so many people with only four bombs. But I feel like something's changed. But it looks like you get restricted actually. You have four flame and four bombs? 
That seems so bad. Oh my god. Have I, did I really slaughter so many people with this perp? That, that can't be possible. I don't know. I can actually... There's some video... I have some videos of me using this perk. And I'm pretty sure that's not the old restriction. So I think this perk's been nerfed. But as you can see, it makes... It, it gives you the same effect as if you had armor. Where your bombs don't do damage. So you have to kill people using other bombs. You could... You can kill a lot of people. Oh, now I don't know. Because it looks like it's been nerfed. I, I what, what's... what's it would be funny if it wasn't nerfed and I was really, it was like this all the time, but I feel like it's been nerfed. I don't know. Alright. So the next perk is the Mind Bomb. Now this perk is a pretty fun one because you can chain things. Like, so, for example... I only have four, right? Yep. That's not going to chain, is it? Nope. No, that, that didn't chain. No, no, that, that was pathetic. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good at this. All right, there we go. Oh, it goes right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll we'll get it right this time, guys. We'll we'll, we'll get it right. We'll, we'll we'll get it right. There we go. I'm an idiot. Okay, but you see what I mean. <laughs> you see what I mean. You can do some cool things with these, but it takes some thought, I suppose. That even I'm messing it up right now. Because I keep forgetting about certain things. Like that, that, and that. Do I not have? Oh, the cooldown. Oh, the cooldown. Right, that's another thing. This perk didn't used to have a cooldown. What is with all these cooldowns and balancing? Get that out of here. That's not cool. Alright. So it has a cooldown, but you can see how the perk works. So it. You can cause it to. Uh, it's one of those things where if you, there's some, in some situations where you say somebody's about to go into a house or something, you can use this perk to, I would say this is a trolley perk, kind of, like in team play, or somebody's about to go into a house or something, and they're your enemy and you're trying to kill them, right, they know, it, it's past that five second, like, time period where they, they know they're, like, safe and they're like, haha, there's no way you could possibly kill me in the next few seconds, and then you're just like, oh, is that so? And then you just like boom, and then boom, and then and then it hits the thing, and then it just goes off like instantly, and you're like, no. Well, that's that's what it's used for. I sound so evil, do I? Just just kidding. But um, that's it for this round of perks. Let's move on to the next round. Da -da 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 -da. All right, it's time for the next batch. So we have combat mode, money. Money are for weaklings. Money is for weakling. Money is for weaklings. 50% chance to receive double bonus by picking up bombs, fire, bats, and rollers, but you don't receive gold. That's that's not canon. Rollers is called skates. What are you doing? What are you... Uh, I'll stop. All right. The next perk will be need for speed. Plus two max speed. Minus four max bombs. Minus one max fire. Jetpack generator. Jet engines right on your legs require... Why not your back? Require... Oh, that's a spelling error, I think. R-E-Q-U-I. Yeah, that should be changed. Requires recharge. Press F to activate. Shield generator. Portable shield generator requires some time to recharge. All right, so let us begin. So first off, combat mode is a very strong perk and how it works is there's a 50% chance of it essentially doubling what you pick up so right now I have two flame right I picked that up the, the bottle of them just stole that from me no I'm getting flashbacks guys I'm getting flashbacks come on bot 17 no this isn't my world what's happened to everything Man, it would be nice to have, ooh, 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 bot 10, you look like me, so you get a pass, but, um, you, really? Oh, okay, so I have zero speed, I picked that up, I have one speed, so that, it did not activate that time. So, right now, we just lost a 50-50, which is a 50% chance of that happening, right? Fair enough. So, let us try again. So, we have one bomb, we pick it up, we have one bomb. 
All right, so we just lost two 50-50s, so that's a 25% chance of it happening. All right, keep that in mind. We have a 50% chance of getting double, but we did not. Let's try again. Ooh, ooh. Those bots are having a little dance. So. I'm just looking for... There's probably a lot of power-ups in here, I imagine. Not really, but there are some bricks. Man, such a huge nerf, only having four bombs with need for speed. So horrible. But you can, like, run in and, like, snipe somebody almost, but you can't surround them in bombs or nothing. Okay. That's so... See, we have four... If we, we can't even tell. We can't tell if we win or lose that, right? Unless we die. That's the only way. We have to lose a bomb so we can tell, right? Somebody has to do this. Okay, there's a perk we can test. So, we have zero bats, we pick this up, we get one bat. Alright, I just look, that's, that's, uh, 12.5%, no? Yeah, 12.5% chance of us so far. Okay, wait, we, no, we still have one, oh, wait, 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 wait. oh, 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 okay. We have two flame, we pick this up. Nope, that's, um... Six point thirteen percent chance of happening. I'm uh, no, it's something like that. Six point thirteen percent chance. I'm just big. Come on, we we can't fail that many times in a row, guys. Come on. All right, we're we're just not too lucky, guys. Uh, my my luck stat was never too high, honestly speaking. But we'll get, we'll get them next time. We just need to get some power-ups that are good oh speed no if only these bots didn't oh wait okay there's a bat okay here we go here we go so we have one bat right <laughs> watch it be one again oh uh, three point or sent something chance no no don't do this to me game gobs quite a cruel Oh, nice kick. Everything's fine. It's like it's like Gob's so cool and you're like getting ready to rage quit, but then you get a kick and you're like, ah, it's, everything's fine. Kick's the only one that really matters. Alright. We we literally have like a don't worry guys, this is only this only happens three percent of the time. Trust me, only three percent of the time. Totally fifty percent. Alright. There's one speed here. We pick it up. 1.5% chance, or no, about 1.5% chance of our situation happening. All right, there's a, maybe there's something wrong with this perk, guys. Maybe there's something wrong with this perk. <laughs> it used to work. All right, so we have flame. Okay, he, he stole it from us. You know what, let's double read it. Because I remember this doubling what you got. Let's double read combat mode. Money is for weaklings. Chance to receive double bonus by picking up bombs. 50% chance. A 50% chance to receive double bonus by picking up bombs, fire, bats, and rollers, but you don't receive gold. Okay. So, don't worry, guys. This What we've experienced now is only 1%. It's a little, little bit 1%. Okay. One flame. If we There's a chance for us to get two flames with this one. Ooh. That's pretty good. We may have lost like five times or something. Well, let's try it again. Ooh, double. Two in a row. Ooh. So it looks like we just had some bad luck there. And once we reread the, um, once we reread what the perk did, it looks like it fixed it. So if you guys ever have any issues, just reread what the perk does and the universe will fix itself. So moving on to need for speed. As you can see right there, we don't have the ordinary speed. I'm no, I'm no simple four speed user here. I'm a six speed user, a user that's gone beyond an ordinary four speeder, if you know what I'm saying. Now, it's still not faster than a nine, because I think they're, oh, that's another video idea that we can do, because Gally did test, he tested the speed between nines and, um, like, eight speed or something, right? And the nines, like, one barely or something, well, something sometimes like that. We, we could, should do that in the future, but that's not for this moment now. Right now, we're doing need for speed. So, as you can see, in the wiki, which is not a wiki, 
plus two max speed, minus four max bombs, minus one max fire. So that's why our bombs suck and our fire sucks, but I don't care too much about fires because bombs, you can extend it, right? Like if you have one flame, but you have eight bombs, you really have eight flame. You get what I'm saying? All right. So the next one we have is shield generator, which generates you a shield. So it's like having an extra life. So it's almost like two HP. It's almost like what I was describing in the future, in the past, right? You won't understand what I'm saying. And as you see when it pops, you get armor. Takes 80 seconds. That's a plot point, by the way. 80 seconds to regenerate. Huge plot point. For what, you might ask? Well, I don't know. Maybe you should see a certain battle. All right. So let's move on to the next four perks. That combat mode took the longest time. I'm very, very sorry. But this is time stampy, so you can skip through everything through the description. Why are you still here? Let's get, go to the next perk. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, you guys, this is the final batch of four. We've done every other perk besides the special mob drop ones which I'm not rich enough to go over. Well, I could, but then I'd have none left, and that'd be very, very sad. Very, very sad. I could probably go over this one and leave one left. So, we have jetpack generator. Jet engines right on your legs require... Oh, wait, I'm getting deja vu. Oh, yeah, we already have that equipped. We just didn't explore it then, right? But we're going to explore it now. Exclusive license, a document suit which lets you avoid taxes, plus 100% to gold, plus 50% XP, and bonuses. Drop chance leads to faster rank achievements. Now, how much of a bonus? I would like to see the, the loot table for the bricks. I know exactly what everything, I know all the options, but I would like to see the odds. Where are those at? I want to know, I want to know, I want to know 100% how much this helps me, because I have not used this perk. And I have an infinite amount of it, which doesn't count. So I demand, I'm joking. But we have that. We have immunity, makes a player completely immune to all diseases. This is a pretty fun one, actually, because you can you can do some chaos. Imagine if there was a backward, a backward shot or like a reverse shot and um, a slow poke shot. You could do some serious chaos with this. You can already do some serious chaos with this. Plus one additional bomb explosion distance speed and bat. Oh, that's all this does? So does it just add to our max? Actually, I'm about to see. So we normally have eight bombs upon starting, right? Let's spawn in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm guessing four, four. We still have the regular eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, we still have the default capacity for everything, right? So it doesn't change, the starter kit doesn't change that, it just, I guess it just gives it, so you know how you start with one bomb and two flames? That's also an important plot point. You start with one bomb, two flame. It looks like you'll probably just start with two bombs and three flames, I guess? I'm, I'm assuming, let's kill ourselves a few times. Oh, does that start fully charged? Awesome. Nice. The jetpack generator doesn't have to wait for like a thing. That's really nice. That would be really annoying, right? So, jetpack generator lets you go over blocks like this. You used to be able to do some cool things with rain booms, but they fixed that. Where, um, you could like bounce on the jetpack if you spam rain boom. You can't do that anymore because they changed how it worked. Don't remember why they changed that. Probably wasn't too great in the eyes, though. Um, let's see, was that everything? Oh, yeah, I guess we need to show off immunity, right? So is there anything to become immune to? Hmm, I guess the best way to show off immunity would be through a, per a shot, right? So let's see. Mm -hmm. Lily putt, we can show off immunity pretty. No, we can't change our... That's so annoying. I don't get why it doesn't let you do that. People know they'll be wasting their perks if they use it at the end of the round. It should just let you always change it, no matter what. Um, let's just try to trigger disease real quick. Ow. My soul. I just 
just want to use my immunity, man. I guess we could just go to another server. Yeah, let's just go to let's just go to the main US server. What am I doing? All right, we have our immunity and everything like that. Yeah, let's get rid of exclusive license. Apparently, a document which lets you avoid tests. I hundred percent. I guess we haven't shown that off exactly, but we have shown off. Well, I guess. Oh, it already added it. See, look, we have. So we start off with one. No. Yeah, yeah this is a start around. We haven't even spawned yet, right? So it's spawn. One bomb, two bombs. So we start off with one bomb, right? One extra bomb. One additional bomb, explosion distance, speed, and fast. All right. Am I messing up here somewhere? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. It works completely. Oh my god, I'm being an idiot. I don't know why. I did not notice that I had one. Yeah, it work it's working completely fine. Because, look, I have. I, you normally don't start. I just spawned the fir for the first time in this round. And you normally do not start with a batter or a thing, so it does completely what it's supposed to. And I guess I'm imagining starting with two. No, no, you always start with two flames, so. But does it even say anything about flame? I might just be misreading that. One explosion distance, speed, and bat. So I think it's missing a flame, right? Because, let's see, we go over to, uh, let's go to, to like the JP, the Japan server, right? And let's not spawn with the star thing. Yeah, you normally always start with two flame. So that's, it's actually messed, the perk's messed up. It's, it's not working how it's intended to. Because everything else works, but you're supposed to start with one extra flame, and you don't. You start with the same that you normally start with. So I guess it just makes you start with two of every. Well, it makes you start with. It doesn't change anything for your flame. I don't think that's intended. I think that's a mistake. How's that not? But that's been years there, right? I must be making a mistake because that's been there for years. Somebody would have caught that on early. Plus one additional bomb. Explosion distance, speed, and bat. We got. We start off with two bombs. We start off with two explosions. And start off with one of these and one of those. So yeah, it's it's actually broken. It doesn't work proper. I'm I'm assuming maybe I'm just messing up somewhere. But it looks like this perk doesn't work exactly how it's supposed to but it's not it's not a big issue at all because you can just remove that one thing just remove the explosion distance and it's completely fine don't need to change anything else so it doesn't do anything with explosion distance you guys saw what it does right now so that's the starter kit all we need to do now is exclusive license we already shown the jetpack generator we need to show immunity and exclusive license so Plus 50% XP and bonus drop chance. I'm not sure exactly. It's very vague, so I don't know. Do you, I don't think it works like combat mode where you can get double things. That'd be really, really cool, though. So, oh, I don't know why I didn't select a thing to do. So we can get rid of these and that. And we can do Lily Putt and Nine, because that's a good way to test it, right? But for dynamic, I might not even need to record that. I can probably just look up, look for some old footage of the dynamic stuff. Although I guess I wouldn't have the commentary. Ooh, wasn't even trying. That bot wasn't trying either. Ugh. Um, all right. So we have immunity, right? So as you know, you cannot control when you place bombs as a nine. Actually, I guess this is a better example. More quick cut. So as you see, we have two flames. We know that if we use this, our bombs are one. So normally our bomb would never reach that snowball, right? But look, it did because we have immunity. And that applies for when you get upside down disease, when you get um, slow poke, you can do, so you can have six speed or eight speed or whatever you have, it can depend on your combination of perks. Has slow poke, combine it all, and it can be pretty crazy. And you can like trap people and do some fun stuff that way. So yeah. That's immunity, and now we just need to do exclusive license. Look at that, a diamond. Why, what are you doing, bro? You think you can kill me so easily? I'll have you know. That's not how that works. Look, he's paralyzed in fear. He doesn't, nope, he's, he's not. He, he, he's playing me for a fool. This guy's not bad. Oh, oh yeah, my bombs don't. Oh, nope. Uh, okay, a hundred gold. No, Ugh. Ugh. I 
revive, though? Uh, my soul. Every time you revive, you lose some of your essence. Oh, there's some hash energy at work there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, that is silver, right? We pick that up. 120. That's with exclusive license. It says plus 50%. I feel like I'm doing a quality test of these perks now. Okay, so exclusive license plus 50% XP and bonus drop chance. 100% to gold. We got 20 gold from a silver. So let's remove this. And we got 100 gold from a diamond. But we can't remove it for this round. So let's go somewhere else. But we remember what we have. So I guess let's go back to the JP server. Let's remove the exclusive license. We'll remove all these. We'll spawn in fresh. And now, let us go. Let's mine some gold and see what we get. But we know we got a hundred. I'm fairly certain we got a hundred for diamond and twenty for silver. Yeah. So let's see what we normally get and make sure. And that's with exclusive license giving us the plus one hundred percent to taxes. So let's see. This is a silver right here. This will. I don't think we'll need to confirm diamond if this works. So we should get 10 here. Yep, it looks like exclusive license works how it's supposed to. So that's exclusive license and immunity. That was the final, well, almost final round of perks. We have one more set of round of perks to do that weren't quite covered. Like, for example, let's see. I think Miner's Luck plus 50%. We can't change stuff right now. I think maybe it's just that the last two minutes it always disables it or something like that. Um... I think it was just Miner's Luck, and that was it. That's every perk, besides the special perks. And Galley didn't cover those originally, so I don't think I'll cover those either. Because they're not perks you can actually unlock, traditionally. So, we'll go over Miner's Luck and Diamond Mimic. I think it'll probably just be separate footage for the Diamond Mimic. Blah. Because it can, it can take a while to wait for that. Eh, maybe. Maybe we'll just get lucky. But I'm pretty sure I have footage of diamond. Well, plenty of diamond mimics, probably. Somewhere. Somewhere. Um. So, I guess I'll see you guys in a bit for Miner's Luck. And that'll be it for this video. It's a very long video, but look at the timestamps for every perk. See you guys in a bit. So... As we know, it says Miner's Luck, it says that it also, it's also one of those give you 50%, so it's just like, so it's almost just like exclusive license, and you also get double plutonium. Not sure if that's the same, I don't think you get double plutonium with exclusive license. But, we already know the values for this. We know that silver gives us 10, and diamond gives us 50, apparently. So, with the Miner's Luck, it should give us 100, and for silver, it should give us 20. For gold, I'm not so sure. I do not remember. So this should give us 100. 75. Oh wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> See, there I go making another mistake again. Exclusive license, 100% to gold. This is 50% to gold. So, I, that makes sense. 100% gives us 100. 50% would give us 25 out of 15. Yeah, that makes sense. So... Miner's Luck works. You now we could capture a Pluto. But I, I, I trust me, I've, I've done it before with Miner's Luck. It gives you double. You get double the Pluto. You can take the hashy word from it. Unless some bugs happen or something, you can take the hashy word. So, out of all the perks we reviewed, the only buggy one, there was two problems. Also, now that I've actually reviewed all the... Well, I've gone through every single one of these perks, we can actually figure out any of the problems with the perks. So the main problems with the perks were, let's see. The spelling error here require, also maybe that's not, maybe that's another way of spelling it. Maybe, maybe I'm an idiot. Require, that's the only problem. And starter kit, plus one additional bomb, explosion distance, speed and bat. It doesn't actually give you an additional explosion distance. You have this, you still start off with two like usual. So that was the only problems we found with the perks. Now, if I'm since we're at the end of the video, I'm guess I'm just gonna list off some of my nitpicks and stuff with the perks. And this is like an overall review as well. This isn't something Galley did, by the way. This is just something I'm doing. My video is way less 
the way I'm doing things are way less organized, I'd say, than how Galley did it originally. But I'd say overall the perks are good, but I'd say that the timer for the Mind Drone Generator seems more reasonable than I remember. But I like I prefer not to have timer for things like this. Look at 951, right? It'd be nice if you didn't have to have the timer for it. It'd be more fun to use. Same with these. I remember when these first came out, I had so many of them, and I almost went an entire round while being invisible. You can't do things like that anymore because they have, like, what, a 45-second or 60-second timer or something? There shouldn't be a timer like that because you're already limited so much by the amount you can have from how many, how much gold and how much Pluto you've spent on perks, right? So if you already have a time limit, it just makes some make it makes it less cool to use because you can't you can't like run around hiding. Like okay, you don't gain anything this game for like hiding for 16 minutes, right? So there's no reason to have a cooldown on this because what does a player lose for spending like 50 per spending like 50 perks around or something just to hide the entire round for every every minute? Every 15 seconds they have to use a every eight seconds after they use a perk they have to use a perk again. Then they're able to move for like eight seconds. That's not too that's not overpowered. So. That's a Nick pick. Let's see, is there anything else? I've already covered the linen pants situation and stuff in another video. Um, it'd be cool. Actually, you know what? I think it's kind of fine to have exclusivity and stuff, but it'd be cool to have ways to restock Spider Transformation or something. Uh, but I'm not sure how you would go about that without making it broken, I suppose. I think that's about it. Oh, pacifism. That's another Nick pick. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like it's always been limit. It limited you to four bombs and four flame. That seems like something that's changed. And I, I'm not. I don't. I don't like that at all. Like I think it was good as it was before. I don't think it's meant to be like a crap perk, right? But maybe I just played with it that way, and I'm just remembering wrong. It could be my memories could be completely wrong. After this video, I'm gonna go look into the footage and stuff. I'm gonna look at some old footage and stuff and see if that's how it was. But I think pacifism's been nerfed, or maybe I'm just an idiot and I'm remembering everything completely wrong. But it feels like pacifism's been nerfed, and that would be nice if it was reverted. But other than that, that is all of the perks and everything. Well, all of the perks that you can unlock from the shop, and I'll see you guys later. Besides Diamond Mimic, and I'll probably put a, after this video. I'll probably put a, um, well after this part right here. I'll probably put a clip of the Diamond Mimic. So. I'll see you guys later. Ash out. Almost, they almost got me. You'll never catch me. Never. Crud. Uh, okay, I'm screwed. Rip. Ah, uh, well, it's fun while it lasted. Hash out. See you guys later. Peace. You know, when looking at the various bosses and stuff and how they have HP, wouldn't it be really cool if players had HP? Like, not something crazy like what the bots have, the, the bosses have, but like 3 HP or something, right? And I guess you could say it would be really hard to kill somebody, but then just don't make people respawn. Like, you can only spawn in once, and then you have 3 hits, and then after that you can't spawn for that next round. That's completely reasonable. It's not like the rounds last for an hour or something. You, there's a new round every 16 minutes. And you're probably not even there at the start of the round, so, like, you're not going to have to wait forever to respawn and add, like, more stakes. I don't know. I feel like that would be cool than what we just have where you, like, infinitely spawn in over and over and over again. Because it's no, there's not much stakes to it. This is just a random thing I'm probably going to add to the end of the video, because I just thought that would be pretty cool, right? Maybe not. I think it would be pretty cool, though. Well, I'll see you guys later. Hash out. Yeah, yeah, yeah.